goes by the name of Atlas the Bookkeeper. How you feeling, my friend? Now, the weirdest thing, all right? Just listen to this, okay? Some people still think that the Kino Casino is screwing with me. That they actually, like, they don't like me. That this entire thing, these, like, two weeks of content, you know, we, I went on their show. I've appeared in their chat and talked during their show. We did a co-op commentary together on, you know, the Review Tech thing, okay? There's still people who are saying, this is all just a big play by the Kino Casino guys. This is their long play, right? This is absolutely them trying to fuck with Phil, and it's all going to blow up at the end. Watch this. They're really going to get him, right? I mean, first of all, if they don't like me so much, right, why would they have continuously sent their followers over to watch my content and help me these last couple of weeks? You guys do understand that a lot of these cool, positive things that I'm doing, the lighting now that I've purchased, this new thing that's coming, it's because I just had two amazing weeks. I had an insanely good stream, uh, you know, with, with the Rich React. I've had an insanely positive week of content after hitting, smashing all my goals. Why, if they don't like me, would they have done that? I'm, I'm just curious, right? It's, you really think it's that big of a play, huh? Like, <laughs> it's really that big, right? <clears throat> and then on top of that, all right, like Mudahar. Like, some people just can't believe that Mudahar is okay with me now to do this. They're like, you understand that guy used to go in really hard on you. And I'm like, yeah, but he went hard on me because, again, he's watching detractor content. He's watching the out-of-context horse shit that spins everything negatively that's not truthful. When he actually looks at the situation now, correct? He's like, oh, you know, now that if really your biggest offense is that you basically grift a bit with your viewers and the way you ask your viewers for contributions. If that's your biggest offense, then I apologize to you for the, th the way that I've acted towards you because there's so many heinous people right now doing awful, awful things, correct? You're, none, you're nothing like that at all, you know? So he's okay with me. He, I apologized to him for my behavior in the last year, and then he apologized to me. So why wouldn't I want to take a chance? Why wouldn't I want to do something positive and different, right? Wouldn't you want to at least give it a chance, especially with the last two weeks, how positive everything has been around here? Why wouldn't I want to give that a chance? Am I going to be afraid of life for the rest of my life because people have treated me bad for a decade? Should I just go like this and hug myself and, and huddle into a little corner and wrap myself in blankets and bubble wrap and insulation and say, no, don't trust anyone. Don't trust anyone, Phil. Everyone's going to betray you, Phil. Don't do it, Phil. I mean, the sad fact is the track record does speak to that. I mean, my closest friends have betrayed me. My, uh, people who I loved and trusted have betrayed me, right? Moderators have betrayed me. Fans have betrayed me, right? Every, I mean, there's been a lot of betrayal around here, okay? There really has been. And the way I see it, there's a lot of, of, of evidence that the world likes to fuck with Phil, correct? Correct. But the moment that you give up, the moment that you, you say, I'm not ever going to take a chance ever again at something positive for yourself, that's the saddest moment of anyone's life. The moment where you say, I just, I, that's it, I'm closing myself off to the world and I refuse to do anything or talk with anyone or do anything. That's fucked up because I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. These guys, since I talked directly to them, since I appeared on their show in chat and we had conversation and then I appeared on their show, right? They have been nothing but gracious to me. And I know it's called glazing. I know that they're going over the top with it. I know that it's not 100% true, but it's on purpose. The way it's being done is to piss off my detractors. Why? Because that makes more content. That's good content because those detractors deserve it for the way that they treated me for the last decade, they deserve a taste of their own medicine, okay? <laughs> so, all that being said, I, I'm giving these guys the benefit of the doubt. Why wouldn't I? Right? Now, you're right. I don't know anything about Mudahar. I don't. 
This will be the first time I will ever actually speak with him. You know, I've DM'd him twice. This will be the first time I'll ever speak with him. Of course, we'll be playing the game. So I don't. I doubt we're going to have full-on intellectual conversations. There's going to be more of us fucking with the game, losing and laughing and everything, right? But I don't see why I should be so afraid of life. You know what I'm saying? I just, why should I be afraid of, of, of giving people a chance when people are being nice to me for two weeks, right? I think I'm going to continue. So let's see how it goes tonight. Now, listen, it's this simple. If ever th these people were to betray me or, or be become really mean towards me, toxic towards me, or this community of viewers that I have, I would say, okay, bye. And then I would go on my merry way, coming back here and just doing my own thing from now on. And, you know, is there really a big loss? I would say there would be a loss because I have enjoyed the last two weeks of social interaction with anyone besides just my viewers. I really have. I like having the ability to go out and collab and have fun conversation and stuff like that. So, you know, I hope that this goes well. You know, I do. I truly do. Let's see how it goes tonight. If it's a, if it's a train wreck, if I'm treated like dirt, then I just don't have to do it anymore. It's not the end of the world, right? And you know what other people are saying? Oh, you know what it is? They're just waiting for your documentary to come out. And when your documentary comes out, they're going to destroy you, Phil. Maybe they will. Maybe they will. You know what? It's a freaking four-plus-hour documentary, okay? Maybe they will destroy me. They've told me they don't want to, and they're not going to, and if they do react to it, they'll react to my reaction to it. So it has extra context. But maybe they will. And if they do, you know, it would just be another, just another day for me. You know what I mean? It's not like this is tragedy has struck and this is the end of Dark Side Phil. This, for me, it would be Tuesday. You know, the me, the M. Bison me. It's just, it's just par for the course when someone else treats me like badly and treats me like dirt. It is what it is, right? So I don't know. The thing is, because it's funny because people are like, oh, your documentary coming out is going to be your downfall. First of all, the documentary is going to cover everything everyone else has already covered in documentaries. The only extra stuff that they could possibly cover, that June the King could cover, is my past before YouTube. Meaning, my early days of Street Fighter and how I used to behave very poorly in that community and my internet antics at that time, which I've already talked about, were very poor and I regret them, right? And probably the early YouTube days, maybe elaborating more on how <clears throat> really over the top and, 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 and you know, kind of, insulting and offensive my commentary was at that time right but once it gets to the shit from the last five years everyone's heard these stories everyone's heard the bankruptcy story the bank leak story the wwe champion story we all know it and it was funny because i was talking with chat before and i was like what's funny about the whole thing is everyone knows the stories now nobody cares anymore everyone's had enough of the stories because they've been going on for so long and my detractors just keep repeating the same fucking stories over and over because they have nothing else to say. They just regurgitate the same shit and it gets tired and boring. What you need is new content and they don't have any because nothing bad is going on here. I'm not the one taking his shirt off, sucking cucumbers, kissing cocks. I'm not the one pretending to be a boxer in a boxing ring. I'm not the one faking cancer. I'm just sitting here making meaningful, positive content for my viewers, right? So there's no content to make. It's just they have to regurgitate the same bullshit they said for five years because there's no content to make jokes about, you see? So because of that, you know, they're, they're furious that I've had two weeks of success. They're really hoping that this documentary is going to destroy me, all right? Here's the truth of what's going to happen. The documentary is going to come out, and I'm going to slowly react to it. People are going to watch it in its entirety, but then they're going to want to see, well, what does Dark Side Phil have to say about all of this? And I'm going to slowly react to it day by day. Like I said, probably every night stream, two hours a night, I'll be reacting to this. And it's going to take like a week or more to get through because it's such a long documentary, right? <clears throat> People are going to really want to know what my thoughts are. I would predict that that react, me reacting to my own documentary, will be the biggest content that I've put out in many, 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 many years. Maybe it won't reach the heights of me doing the co-op react with rich or, or to the rich documentary with kino casino because that was co-op and people really wanted to see that so maybe but for me doing solo content i predict my react is going to do huge it's going to get tons of views on the streams people are going to come by and i have a new audience that are supportive right so they're going to come by and they're going to support those streams and content it's not going to destroy me it's going to be new 
positive content for me to make. You understand? Me fessing up to my past mistakes, me growing from them, showing that today I'm not that person anymore, right? And the best part about all of it is, because this is what we were talking about in the chat earlier, with all the bullshit of the last five years, the allegations of this and that and the financial bullshit, right? Most people know about it and don't fucking care anymore, right? At one point, you know, but, but no, they don't give a shit anymore about it. They're like, I don't care. Even if every allegation about you is true from, that everyone says about all this bullshit, I still don't care. I just like you and your content. I don't care what you spend your money on. I don't care what mobile games you play. I just want you to keep making good content because I like your content. Here, and here's my support. They don't give a shit, right? That's cr And the funny part about it is, it's not true. The stuff that my detractors are saying about me actually is not true. But when people are outright saying, we don't even care if it is true, we still like you, that's a big weight off my shoulders. Let's put it that way. It really is. It means that I can react honestly to this documentary coming out. I don't have to open my private vault of data and expose myself to the internet to prove my innocence because no one even gives a fuck about this stuff. And that's a good thing, right? That's a very good thing. So I'm excited. I'm literally excited for the documentary to come out. I wish it was coming out. I, I was. I thought it would have been out by now or would have been coming out very soon because June was telling me he was aiming for the end of the month and he was very much hoping that it would come out at the latest by the last week of the month, but he wasn't sure how that was going to go. Um, and as of now, I have no updates for anyone. I don't know when it's coming out. He hasn't announced it yet, right? <clears throat> so, you know, will will there be some people who will watch this documentary and and say, I'm done with Phil? Probably. Probably. You know, a lot of people don't know about the insane history. 16 years as a content creator and my ups and downs, right? And the bad things that I've done that I fessed up to and, you know, or they don't know the full story in context, which I'm going to attempt to give with my react to the June the King documentary, add my own context and my own perspective, okay? Um, but it's not going to be the end of me. This is not, how could it possibly be the end of me, right? And even if the Kino Casino guys react to it, and even if Mudahar reacts to it, and even if Moist Critical reacts to it, and Asmongold reacts to it, and every fucking ginormous YouTuber on the planet reacts to it, if fucking Mr. Beast stops making his content to sit down and react to the Dark Side Phil documentary, guess what? I will still fucking be here. I will stop making content the day that I decide to stop making content. Not what the entire world tells me to do, what I decide for myself. Because I am the ruler of my own destiny. No one fucking else. It doesn't matter what platform I'm on. It doesn't matter what kind of content I'm making. I will keep being me, and no one's going to fucking stop me from doing that, period. No, I'm not going to curl up into a ball. Oh, I can't trust anyone. I can't do any content. I can't trust anyone. What kind of a life is that? Right? If that were the case, if that were the case, after my breakup with my ex, what was I going to do? Be single forever? Because I had a bad relationship or a bad experience in a relationship and we broke up? Never, ever give a chance? I never would have met my wife. I wouldn't have been happy. I wouldn't have had a beautiful life right now if I didn't give life another chance. Right? So now I'm giving this another chance. All right? Tonight, let's see how this goes. Let's see how it goes tonight. I'm excited for tonight and see how the collab goes. I hope it goes well. Even if it's a train wreck, even if the game is fucking stupid and everything, just hanging out with some people for a couple of hours is going to be fun. And to have an audience along the ride with us, it's going to be neat. You know? I think it's going to go fun. It's going to be well. I, I do. I really believe that. And the sky's the limit because if this goes well, this opens up other doors. Right? Absolutely it does. <clears throat> Okay, I got shout-outs to do. Let's get to these shout-outs. 